The store has an upbeat and fresh vibe. There's a lot of merchandise in the store, but it is very well organized, and finding something you need would be an easy task. While the store has a fun environment, it still has a professional feeling relatable to their clothing. The store has a bright and refreshing look. The accents of red all around the store brighten everything up, and it is, very, it is a very inviting place to shop. Express targets men and women in the younger age range. They target the fashion-forward shopper that is looking for anything from a big job interview to a weekend on the town with your friends. There were two different entrances to get into the store. The first entrance led into the women's side of the store, and the second one led into the men's side. Over both entrances, there were large illuminated express signs. Both entrances had sleek glass doors. Over both doors were red accents that continued throughout the entire store. Also on both sides of the doors were glass cases featuring clothes from the store. The floor plan is very strategic and well organized. To start, the clothes are divided into men's on one side and women's on the other. Within both of these sections, clothes are separated into a more business wear and basic wear sections. Towards the back of the store, you can find accessories, shoes, and the dressing rooms. In the center of the store is the checkout counter. Merchandise varies from clothing, both formal and informal, shoes, accessories, belts, and etc. There is a lot of merchandise held in the store with a variety of sizes. The interior was mostly all white with the exception of some black and red. The floors were large concrete slabs that were pleasing to the eye. Everything looked very crisp and Express has a wide price range due to their variety of clothing. Upscale clothing and formal wear can reach up to $300. Their less formal and basic clothing usually stays between $15 to $50. There was a sales section and also BOGO deals happening throughout the store on a lot of basic items in both men and women's. Here you find the women's business casual section. You can see there are pantsuits and silk shirts that might be good for a business meeting or dress down for a night out. This is the men's formal section. As you can see, there are formal suits, pants, ties, and any other necessities a man might need for a formal event or interview. Another section in the men's department features casual wear. You can see they are showing off their plaid shirts that are very in style right now. Their most popular shirt, the soft wash shirt, is a big seller in Express. Here is an example of one of their in-store promotions. This promotion offers buy one get one for $9.90. Throughout the rest of the store, you could find sales just like this one. There is also many 30% off racks in many places in the store. In addition to that, there is a sales section on the back side of the store. Francesca appeals to women of varying ages and diverse backgrounds, from value conscious to the more affluent. Their primary customer is a fashion conscious woman between the ages of 18 and 35. She is a college educated and has moderate to high disposable income. She enjoys shopping for the latest fashion and is attracted to their upscale boutique shopping environment. An awning is placed above the store with the name Francesca's printed above it. To the right, the window display is very simple with flower decals and words such as chokers, crossbodies, and spice. There are five mannequins neatly placed in front for outsiders to see. There is only one entrance to the store. When you first walk in, you see a rack full of red and black dresses, shirts, and skirts for UGA game day. To the right of this rack, there is a very large jewelry display. 90% of the jewelry is located neatly here. The floor plan of the store is laid out to where it takes you straight through the store. There is no special layout that makes the customer go to a specific point first. The customer can easily walk around in a circle. As you can see, Francesca's offers a wide variety of handbags, sunglasses, scarves, and other accessories. These racks are located throughout the store. Here you can see the main purse section. This section takes up about one-fourth of the left wall in the store. They carry a wide variety of designers including Miami, Ayla, and Indigo Road. There is also a promotion going on for $6 animal wallets. Girls can buy trendy, inexpensive, but quality handbags here at Francesca's. One of the major in-store promotions currently is a table full of University of Georgia themed merchandise that is 25% off at the moment. This specific store only displays UGA merchandise during football season. In Francesca's, the color of the store are very neutral and warm. They use lots of wood to create a southern homey place. 
There is medium lighting throughout the store, not too bright or not too dark. There seem to be no air fresheners in the store, however, did not smell bad nor great. There is also minimal music in the background. It is soft, upbeat, and gives off an indie vibe. Francesca's pricing policy, including gifts, accessory, and clothing, ranges from $4 to $58, not including clearance. They have multiple deals on signs located throughout the store with promotions such as BOGOs, 2 days, 20% off dresses, and 20% off puff keychains. One thing that makes Francesca's unique is their large variety of knickknacks. You can find the perfect gift for anyone, including children, brides-to-be, or just for a friend. This sale section is located towards the back of the store. There is a large sale sign above the items so customers can easily pinpoint the merchandise. Sale items usually run from $9.99 to $29.99. Urban Outfitters focuses on freedom, culture, and community, and this is obvious through its different displays and design. The store has tall ceilings that instill a feeling of freedom in the customers, similar to the people that would shop there. There are several overhead lights that brighten the store, especially matched with the light hardwood floors. It is inviting and it promotes the natural, unique, and culture theme of the store. Urban Outfitters originally existed to provide secondhand clothing, furniture, jewelry, and home decor for its target market of college-aged customers in a casual and fun environment, and continues to do so till this day. There was one entrance in the Urban Outfitters location I visited. When the customer walks into Urban, the first thing they will see is a main display of women trends on five mannequins. The customer then had the option of going straight towards more clothing merchandise, going left towards beauty supplies, or going right towards more women's clothing styles. On the other side of the building, in all capital letters, it reads, Urban Outfitters in Black Paint. There were both women and men's dis styles displayed in glass windows on the outside of the building. Other than that, the interest was basic and simplistic in its detail. The store is organized very well. Women's styles are in the front portion of the store while men's styles are in the back. A home and accessory section separates the two different sections of the store. Women's styles occupy about 75% of the store. There is a women's shoe section, intimate section, beauty section, all within the women's portion organized in a customer-friendly way. The register is located in the central area of the store, directly between the men and women's sections on the side. There was also a secluded room consisting of sale items for both men and women in the back of the store on the right-hand side. The dressing rooms were directly across from the sales section on the left-hand side. There was not an obvious direction the store intended traffic to flow. Because different merchandise was scattered throughout the store, a customer has the option of walking in a pattern that is best fit for their shopping experience. However, men tend to walk straight back to their section, skipping all of the women's clothing, accessories, and merchandise in general. The store has a clean, crisp aroma to it. I believe this was accomplished through the decorating choices. The light, the light hardwood floors, open high ceilings, and bold lighting creates a feeling of natural light and relaxation. The decor is minimal, yet bold. There are some photos along the top of displays towards the ceilings of models wearing Urban Outfitters clothing. The displays were mostly of wood with a glass tabletop, but occasionally a metal rack or all wood display was used. Urban Outfitters preserves buildings and their original features in hopes of maintaining a layered history and infusing a fresh new atmosphere. This was accomplished well at this location. For the most part, the clothing was categorized by style. For example, Intimates Basics denim dresses. However, Urban Outfitters carries a variety of brands and designers. Despite the range or lines that the store carries, it puts a lot of attention on some brands over others. This was usually done so by displaying products in their own section of the store with a table labeled with the brand's name. There were separate tables for Adidas shoes, Adidas sportswear, and loungewear. There was also a separate table within the, in within the intimate section but solely devoted to Calvin Klein products. Urban Outfitters also displays their private denim label BDG in one section of the store. Urban Outfitters has a wide range of prices. The majority of their clothing ranges from $20 to $130, but because Urban Outfitters carries so many designer brands, prices can read all the way up to $800 for a simple black leather jacket. Urban also carries several dress lines that average around $300. Sale merchandise was not mixed in with other sections of the store, but instead Urban Outfitters has a completely separate room carrying all the sale and clearance merchandise. 
There are not any signs displaying promotions or discounts throughout the store other than in the sale room itself. It had a sign displaying additional 20% off all sale, but this was only in the room displaying any specials within the store. I happened to purchase something while visiting the store and the woman at the checkout asked if I had downloaded the Urban Outfitters app, which I had. But before I told her, she informed me that I would be able to receive 10% off my purchase using the app and then begin earning special rewards each time I made a purchase and presented the app to the cashier. Customer service was displayed very well when I first went into the store. I was greeted by a sales associate immediately, and when I asked her if I was able to take pictures of the interior, she kindly told me she needed to check with her manager. I noticed the same associate greet many other customers as they entered. While I was walking around, the other sales associates were asking if I needed help. I noticed a girl stationed at the dressing room taking care of all the people in there. That is very helpful to customers trying things on because many stores do not have this option. It keeps the store clean and the customers happening. There were no lounge areas or special offers such as gift wrapping. Urban Outfitters allows full refund for returns within 30 days for items that have the tag still attached, the original seat, and it must be unworn and unwashed. The employees appear to be dressed in the store's clothing, or at least in style similar to the merchandise that the store carries. The employees' friendliness and upbeat attitudes mirrors the store's values of community by being inviting as if a neighbor would. When you walk into the Urban Outfitters, you feel comfortable, and when you are in your home, you feel comfortable. We here at Urban Outfitters felt comfortable as shoppers. The walls were yellow wood with lighter hardwood floors. There were no special pops of color other than gold accents used to display jewelry and other smaller merchandise. The lighting was extremely bright as it had many overhead lighting fixtures. It also had special lighting on all the wall displays. The front of the store was made of completely of glass allowing natural light to shine throughout the store. I did not notice any particular scent in the store. It smelled clean and fresh. There was not any overwhelming perfumes at all. There was music playing softly in the background and appeared to be some sort of classic rock. It added a chill and relaxed vibe to the store.